Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's a mini unboxing. Today's mini book haul, mm, it's mini all right, it's two, two paperbacks from hell. Can you smell? Spooky season, yes you can. Happy October, everyone. So, the first one is from my favorite addictive app, Whatnot. And if you don't know about Whatnot, <laughs> more books for me, that's all I gotta say. I have a story about this book, which is very, very peculiar. So, did you ever see a cover of a book? And you're like, my God, I remember that cover from 20 years ago, but I don't remember it. But it's familiar to you? Yeah. I don't know if this, I, I can't wait to see the publication here. Because I think that this book may have been like on, you know, the end caps of the grocery stores or in the bookstores or something like that. And that's where I've seen it. And what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. What not? They give you a bunch of different things. Um, they gave me a four classic cartoons of Daffy Duck. <laughs> Which, um, okay, thank you. But yeah, What Not has kind of fun. They do fun things like that. It's not a bookmark, but it's a CD. Okay. I paid $7 for this. And I think... It's well worth it because this isn't the cover that everyone knows. This is a different cover. So this is John the Balladeer. <laughs> now, I will put a picture here of the cover that everyone knows. Valancourt Press is re-releasing John the Balladeer. And as soon as I saw that news, I went on a rabbit hole and I said, I want to get the original one. So this has, um, this is by Manly Wade Wellman and, oh gosh, I don't think anybody read this. Look at it. It's, um, it's pretty pristine, you know? I don't think anybody's read this. Like it's not, it's still stiff when you open it. Okay. This is by Bain Books. 1988. So yeah, I would be in high school at that time. And I could see myself walking around to the bookstore and seeing the cover for the other book, not this one. This is, was this printed in the U.S.? Yeah, this is a U.S. printing. This is a first printing. And um, you can see John the Balladeer has a little friend with horns that stick up you. So let's see. Travel. I'm gonna read. Hey, yo, yo, over here. What you got a ghost over here? Come on. All right, John the Balladeer. Travel with Silver John. Silver John. He's not a silver fox here. No, it's not Silver John. Travel with Silver John on his magical journeys. Feel the power that flows from his silver strung guitar. That's where the silver comes in, baby. Meet a reanimated skeleton, a nameless, no, lo <laughs> a nameless, lonesome, nasty in a cave, and other enchanted, chilling inhabitants of the Black Hills of North Carolina. And when you are quite, quite ready, say hello to George Washington's ghost. The only complete collection of Silver John. Okay. There's a blurb on here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what this says. Just as J, just as J. R. R. Tolkien brilliantly created a modern British myth cycle, so did Manly Wade Wellman give to us an imaginary world of purely American fact, fantasy, and song. Well, okay, I'll read you the front page so you can get a little bit more. The late Manly Wade Wellman wrote the best series of short stories based on Appalachian folklore I've ever read. The stories of John the Ballad Singer. The result is a rare treat, a book that is both an old friend and a new joy. 
John is a wandering singer with a silver strung guitar and a silver voice who runs into good and bad magic as he goes. What makes these stories special is the language, a slow backcountry style that feels totally authentic. The magic and science he meets feel as if they are lurking in the hills even now. I quibble slightly with the editorial decision to put all the vignettes in one place. I felt they came across better when placed between longer stories, but that's, um, but that's minor. Buy this book, read it, read it again and share it with your friends. This book, this book is a classic of modern fantasy and one of the few that are particularly American. John, the Palantir. <laughs> Okay, and then the other book that I got was from my buddy, Greg, at Another Bibliophile Reads. We talk about book deals all the time, and I blame him because he is, why am I talking like this now? Because John Ballandier's in Appalachia. So, Greg is my Kindle dealer. He's my enabler. So, if there's a Kindle deal, he will send me a message and say, hey, this is on sale, blah, 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 and I'll kind of do the same. And he was out and about and found a book, a pretty common one that collectors, the people want to pick up that are collecting paperbacks from hell. Uh, it says, hey, I found this for a dollar if anybody wants to trade. So I responded immediately and I said, I'll trade you. I'll show you what I got. Let's go. Let's go. So he accepted my offer and I got the book. The book is Sins of the Flesh. Have you heard of Sins of the Flesh? No? Really? You didn't hear of it? I bet if I show you the inside, you're going to remember. Yeah, see this dude right here? See that dude right there? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you... Pay attention. Are you ready? Ah! <laughs> it's one of the greatest step back covers alive. Yeah, he paid a dollar for it. It's in the dollar condition. I want to get a little wet nap and kind of wipe it down a little, you know, but, um, yeah, the story, I guess is supposed to be pretty good. I'll read you the back. The wages of sin is death. An innocent mound of grass covered earth, a weathered wooden door, a root cellar root. People still say rut. It's a root cellar, a root cellar shelter from violent storms storage for the farm's produce on Walter Sykes's farm. The root cellar hides a dark and dangerous secret. A monster slumbers there, imprisoned by powerful magics. A monster that was once Walter Sykes' son. Transformed by a madman's curse, Jesse Sykes is a killing machine. Twenty years ago, he cut a bloody swath through the small town of Gideon until his mother struck him down with her own occult powers. Now Eleanor Sykes is dying. The bonds that hold the monster are weakening. Soon, Jesse will be free. No one in Gideon will be safe. <laughs> and that Sins of the Flesh by Don Davis and Jay Davis, most known for the step back cover. <laughs> all right. And that's all I have, everybody. Those are just the two. Yeah, I have two more coming in. And I blame it on BookTube for those two. Mm, 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 mm. I think I need to do a new series called Blame It on BookTube. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to call out all the people that influenced me and where I got influenced and why and et cetera, et cetera, because <sighs> I got to get it all out. <laughs> all right, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Make sure that you take care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I'll see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, happy reading and happy October.